name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the home of the five minute or less video. I don't want to bore you and um, I will pass five minutes because no one has a long attention span anymore. So uh, by the way, I've worked about 10,000 cases. I worked at IRS over a decade and uh, I've been I've been private practice for four decades I've been doing this for 50 years so you want to listen to everything that I have to tell you I do very little promotion mostly education my only promotion I do is to tell you if you need representation really good representation call us and um, so today I want to talk to you about the word monies to be applied to trust fund only those are really, really important words if you owe payroll taxes. I can't tell you how much money you can save if you know those words. Money's to be paid to uh, trust fund taxes. Uh, many people who owe payroll taxes uh, do not know when they start owing them that IRS can collect uh, the withholding money from you personally, the corporate officers personally. They will go after for the money that was to be held in trust. That's called trust fund. There's a penalty for this called the 6672. What IRS does is they take the money that the corporation owed for the withholding and one half of the social security and they impose it against responsible officers. Uh, they do that, like I said, by virtue of the 6672 penalty. As a former IRS agent, revenue officer, now, I used to set up these penalties. I'd go into a company, I'd go ahead and find out when the payroll taxes were not paid, and I would go in and I'd find out who was responsible, and I would assert this 6672 penalty of the monies that were actually held in trust. If you go ahead, and knowing that's coming, and you write on the bottom of the check, monies to be applied to trust fund only, monies to be applied to trust fund only, those eight words can save you thousands and thousands of dollars. What it forces IRS to do is they do process the payment to the corporation, but it also gets processed to your trust fund debt. So if IRS at some point says, well, you're responsible for $20,000, the trust fund money, and you've paid $20,000 because you wrote on the bottom of the check monies to be applied to trust fund only, you can get rid of your trust fund penalty. So what that wording does is it forces the IRS, because you made a voluntary payment, it forces the IRS to take that money, credit it to the corporate account, but also give your trust fund liability that same credit. So if you need a further explanation, if you owe payroll taxes, you should go give us a call. We'll go ahead and in detail with that. But don't forget those magic words. It has saved people millions of dollars over the year. Monies to will be applied to trust fund only. You put it on the bottom left of the check. I put it in red ink. That's all you got to put. Monies to be applied to trust fund only. And since it's a voluntary payment, IRS must honor that. So like I said, they're going to credit the corporate operation the payment, but it's going to reduce your trust fund money, uh, trust fund that you owe by the same amount of the check. Thank you very much. If this was helpful, go ahead, give me a subscription, leave a comment. If you want me to do a YouTube on something, I'm certainly, I, I will certainly think about it. And most of the time I do remember money's to be applied to trust fund only bottom left part of the check. In the meantime, please give me a subscription or a comment. Thank you.